Hello guys, welcome into my new episode of photo manipulation and uh, photo compositing. In this tutorial, I will show you how I created this beautiful matte painting concept in Photoshop. And if you are new into my channel, please do subscribe and turn on all the notifications for more updates for my videos. So guys, let's start our video and we are going to create a beautiful matte paint concept in Photoshop. So here is our background, our first background and here is our castle and this is a rock and a mock right so let's start with our background so what i've done actually i have selected out the background you can see just let's disable the layer sorry not this one this one i have selected this fill out with a pen tool you can select it with anything you want and why actually i have done this to create a depth layer depth layer means let's disable the layer so you can see another hill to give the depth right you give it another hill we can see in the back side of there so this kind of concepts we are used in movies you can see to create a depth layer one more depth layer so let's create a layer mask on it, select the brush tool and we'll just remove those areas we don't want, right, 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 right. just remove this area. You can also play with it, just you can keep it down. This kind of techniques you can use in your matte paints or whatever you are doing in photo manipulation in Photoshop. And here is our sky. Let's delete it. I put a layer mask on it. Control I to invert it. Select the gradient tool and set the foreground color to white and i have just put it down it gives a good overlay of sky throughout the hill so it's looking really nice so let's start with our rock you can see the, the direction of light is right from here so this part will be really dark so what to do let's create a new adjustment layer that is called curves and right click on it create clipping mask now we'll adjust the curves to give a proper amount of shadows and this is looking really great now close it and we'll create a new adjustment layer that is called hue saturation and we'll adjust the hue a little bit hue and saturation a little bit right so let's adjust the hue around like 19 you can see the difference and the saturation a little bit of minus 9 now let's turn on our monk layer right so let's zoom in and we'll create a shadow for our monk and let's create a new layer put it down take a brush tool and just paint it over and you just place this around like that nice now what to do from the new adjustment layer select the curves and right click on it create clipping mask select the hand tool and from right from here we're gonna put it little like this so it's 
gets a little bit of dark. Don't make it too dark, just a little bit of. Now, if you now you if you if you think it's really hard for you to make uh, to adjust the shadows with the this background and this foreground, just create a black and white layer. Now it will help you to adjust it how much it's correct or not. If you think it's a little bit too dark, now it adjust it so it matches with this one. I think it matches with this one. Right now, just turn it off. Oh, I think a little bit down. It's looking fine. Now, we'll create a few adjustment layers. So, let's start with our selective color set it in here and adjust the cyan first let's give it a value of 15 and magenta to around like 5 and a little bit of yellow to 2 and increase the darkness a little bit 3 or 2 nice now there are a few more things we're gonna do That is, let's go to our mount layer and we'll create a new adjustment layer that is called color balance and we'll adjust it. Let's do see and let's the blue a little bit. If you have a problem to adjust the color and all, let's create a new layer for color matching. Go to edit, fill, 50% gray and set it to hue saturation and set this layer to luminosity and increase the saturation and group it, set it to luminous map. So here you can see the pool, it's color masked and our monk also, right? So you can use this technique to color match your photo manipulation and composites and all. So let's turn it off. Nice. So we'll create a, another and we'll go to the blending options and we'll inner glow right inner glow and from the color we'll pick right from a white color i think it will be better pick it right from here and we'll just pick it right this white and set it to color dodge press ok now right click on it and create layer and it will automatically clear it, create a layer of a inner glow and set it to set it in the top one and put a layer mask on it select the brush tool control i to invert it now we'll paint a little bit of rim lights right from here and the light it's coming from here only this part of a little bit to give a little bit of depth in our foreground right it's looking nice so let's create a new layer again and from here it's like this color and set it to soft light set the opacity down to 30 percent and we'll just paint on the legs to create a little bit of darkness so it looks more realistic now let's create a, another adjustment layer 
that is color lookup and we'll set it to night from day now here is our main thing and we'll set the opacity to 35 percent set the foreground color to black select the gradient tool and we'll just pull it a little bit down here We can give it a little bit of rays also to give more depth in our scene. So I'm showing you the technique. You can create this kind of stuff like that, right? So let's go to our castle. I think it's looking fine. Now we have to adjust a little bit. Now let's create a curves adjustment layer. Right click on it, create clipping mask and we'll just put it a little bit down like this much is fine and we'll adjust the curves like this select the brush tool and set the opacity to 30 percent is fine and we'll just paint on these highlights this one like this one wherever the light is coming we're gonna paint on those areas to give some realistic effect in our for manipulation Just play around with your tools to get the perfect output you're looking for. Just don't create whatever you want. Just follow the steps what I'm doing right now. Just increase the opacity also and play with these areas and this one. And this area. And let's create another adjustment there that is hue saturation. Now we're going to adjust the hue and saturation a little bit. How about a little bit of six or nine? I think red and hey hue a little bit of ten. If you turn on the luminosity map. It's completely matched. Now let's add a little bit of fog in between these hills and this part. Let's create a new layer in here. And we're going to paint right, select, pick the color right from here and just paint on these areas and a little bit a bit and a little bit in here just paint don't paint too much just a little bit of it and decrease the opacity or play around with the opacity of 70 percent is really looking good and rename it as fog and let's create another adjustment layer right in here select the brush tool and paint around this areas also this areas and this areas a little bit and decrease the opacity also create a layer mask on it and just remove sorry layer mask on it right now remove this and this and this and this now you can play around with your settings to get the perfect smoke key effect like whatever you are looking for now for the final adjustments let's create a color balance and let's adjust the cyan a little bit around like minus 9 is absolutely fine and a blues a little bit of minus 9 
think that's too much. Yes, it's looking good. Create a new layer on it. Control, Shift, Alt, and E. And here is our final output. Thank you guys for watching my video. If you like this video, please hit a like on it and stay subscribed on it also. And if you want to follow me on Instagram or Facebook, the link is given in the description below. And you can find the PhD file also in the description below. And stay updated with my YouTube channel. And I am coming with more awesome photo manipulations tutorials very soon. Thank you very much.